The engineering structures are composed of materials. These materials are known as the engineering materials or building materials or materials of construction. It is necessary for an engineer to become conversant with the properties of such materials. The use of stones as a building material will be covered in this lecture. Other building materials will be discussed in future courses. Sources of rocks. The stones are obtained from rocks. A rock represents a definite portion of Earth's surface. It is not homogeneous. It has no definite chemical composition and shape. Rocks forming minerals. The rocks contain many minerals. The various natural minerals have wide range of different characteristics. But only a few of them form the bulk of rocks. These minerals are called rock-forming minerals. Some of them are Number 1 Feldspars Number 2 Quartz Number 3 Micas Number 4 Hornblend Number 5 Kaolinite Number 6 Calcite Number 7 Dolomite The stones are obtained from rocks. A rock represents a definite portion of Earth's surface. It is not homogeneous. It has no definite chemical composition and shape. Rock is known as the monomineralic rock if it contains only one mineral, and it is known as the polymineralic rock if it contains several minerals. The quartz sand, chemically pure gypsum, magnesite, H are examples of monomineralic rocks, and basalt, granite, H are examples of the polymineralic rocks. Civil engineering uses of stones. Stones were used to create ancient temples and forts in our country. The Taj Mahal in Agra, Red Fort, Jama Masjid, Parliament House, Central Secretariat, and Rashtrapati Bhavan in Delhi, and other notable landmarks in our country are made of stone. They're still used to make cement and bricks. Stones have several uses like stone used in structure, face work, paving or as basic material here we are listing some of the uses of stones in construction. Number 1 Construction of residential and public buildings Number 2 Construction of dams, weirs, harbors, bridge abutments Number 3 Face work of structures for appearance and ornamental value Number 4 Road metal and railway ballast Number 5 Aggregate for concrete Number 6 Stone dust as substitute for sand Number 7 Thin slabs for roofing, flooring and pavements Number 8 Limestone for the manufacture of lime, cement Geological classification of rocks. According to this geological classification of rocks, the rocks are of the following three types. Number 1. Igneous rocks. Number 2. Sedimentary rocks. And number 3. Metamorphic rocks. Number 1 is igneous rocks. The inside portion of the Earth's surface has high temperature so as to cause fusion by heat at even ordinary pressures. The molten or pasty rocky material is known as the magma. And this magma occasionally tries to come out to the Earth's surface through cracks or weak portions. The rocks which are formed by the cooling of magma are known as igneous rocks. Number 2 is sedimentary rocks. These rocks are formed by the deposition of products of weathering on the pre existing rocks. All the products of weathering are ultimately carried away from their place of origin by the agents of transport. Such agents are frost. Rain, wind, flowing water. Number 3 is Metamorphic rocks. These rocks are formed by the change in character of the pre existing rocks. The igneous as well as sedimentary rocks are changed in character when they are subject to great heat and pressure. The process of change is known as metamorphism. In short, igneous rocks are formed by cooling and thus solidifying from a molten state. Examples of igneous rocks are granite, basalt, etched sedimentary rocks are formed by a process of cementation of small particles that result from the disintegration of rocks. Examples of sedimentary rocks are limestone, sandstone etch. Metamorphic rocks formed by gradual changes in the structures of either igneous or sedimentary rocks caused by heat, pressure. Examples of metamorphic rocks are marble, slate. Here slate is a metamorphosed clay, and marble is a metamorphosed limestone, but is harder than limestone. Next topic is, commonly used building stones. Slate is a metamorphosed clay, and is majorly used for flooring, interior or exterior wall facing. Marble is a metamorphosed limestone, but is harder than limestone. 
Used for interior works or wall or column facing. Granite is an intrusive igneous rock, which get crystallized slowly within the earth. It is strong, hard or non-porous rock. It is a desirable foundation or building material. Basalt is an extrusive igneous rock which get rapidly crystallized on the surface of the earth. It is hard or strong, but porous or has internal fractures. Limestone is a sedimentary rock. It is used as coarse aggregate for concrete production. It is also being used in the production of cement or lime. Durability. Number 2 Strength. Number 3 Porosity. Number 4 Water Absorption. Number 5 Coefficient of Thermal Expansion. Number 6 Fire Resistance. Number 1 Durability should be high. Number 2 Strength should be high. Number 3 Porosity should be low. Number 4 Water Absorption should be low. Number 5 Coefficient of Thermal Expansion should be low. Number 6 Fire Resistance should be high. Merits of Building Stones Number 1 Stone is natural construction material. Number 2 Highly sustainable and durable building material. Number 3 Better resistant against water, fire and wind than other building materials. Demerits of building stones. Number 1. Stone is an expensive construction material. Number 2. Stone constructions need very skilled labor because of its characteristics. Number 3. Highly time-consuming process from collection to supply. Number 4. High transportation cost and time in construction.